How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the upcoming game King Sim. It is an 8-bit kingdom management game that is due out in the middle of February. The king served us faithfully, but now the king is dead. Long live the new king. <laughs> okay, that should have been about as predictable as it was. Wasn't quite sure what the successor to that would be. I'm digging the music. This is a free demo. It's available for anyone to download, actually. You can go check it out right now. Go give things a try for yourself. And then potentially, you know, like, wishlist the game for its, for its actual release. Establish a new kingdom. A new cycle begins. The Counselor. My lord, I am your new counselor. I was appointed to this position after you had sacked and executed your former counselor. New king, new counselor. You gotta start from scratch, man. I don't want any of the baggage of that last kingdom. I have some good and some bad news for you. Which would you like to hear first? I would like you to be executed first. I don't want any anything ruining my first day. I don't trust your judgment on what would make good or bad news. I'll just let you pick. Well then, the bad news is the former king has been killed. Oh, I know. And I had nothing to do with it. Mm. And his palace has been occupied. The good news is that you, my lord, will soon become the new king. Are, you, are we at war? Awful? Not bad. <laughs> well, except for the fact that the country is at war, the royal palace is ruined. So you cannot go there. We need to get ready to defend our own palace. Oh, panic, 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 panic. My duty is to tell you how to rule successfully. Would you like to learn how to play the game of choice? Sure. Ruling a state is quite easy. You have to make decisions which will reallocate resources. The first is the army. The army is required for war and to control your people. This is very similar to reigns. Food is important. You don't want cannibalism. But I'll do my best to avoid it. Got money on my mind. Don't let the money make you whatever all that stuff. What other hip-hop inspirational quotes could I apply to this fantasy kingdom ruling sim? Faith is another resource. Entertainment should help keep people happy. We have uh, general health, like physicians and healers. And this is just the number of days since the last king died. Kicked the old wooden bucket. Or straw bucket. Whatever buckets were made out of back then. Here is the first issue on the agenda. The citizens of the nearby towns have arrived at our castle gates. They want to found a village close to us in order to feel safe. They say living without a king is terrifying, but accepting new citizens is a great responsibility. Will you let them do it? Allow! I'd like to bolster myself up as much as possible. Oh cool, I'm gonna be like shaping the land as I play. The new citizens have found a village, my lord. The people are grateful. This has increased the overall happiness of the citizens. However, some food supplies had to be given to the refugees. Ah, oh, terrible. You didn't tell me that th this would cost me things. You just said responsibility. Responsibility wasn't a resource that I had to concern myself with. We have some extra labor resources now, my lord. What would you like to build? Oh, I, I want things that are more of mine. I don't want to build anything else that is anything else's, so more for me, please. Me and mine. Excellent. A mine will help us extract metal or stone when we need them. The sun is going down. This is a good first day. <laughs> good night, my lord. We had a fruitful day today. Thank you, counselor. Perhaps someday I'll bother to learn your name. But for now, it seems unimportant. <laughs> Quick power nap. Good morning, my lord. Some citizens would like to come into your throne room. They want you to arbitrate their dispute in court. We also need to strengthen our defense line. What will you choose? There's a lot of different... Those are not like... It's not really a yes or no. They're very dramatically different things. I don't know what ball is, but I want ball. Give me the ball. <laughs> now is not the best time to have a ball. Oh, like a... A festival or like a, a feast or whatever like dancing and things I was thinking we go like have a catch outside maybe play play some basketball taking into account that a horde of foreign savages is about to attack us but who am I to thwart you you should know better we've spent a considerable sum of the feast and roses on the feast and roses yes who shall we invite to the balls so this is happening citizens make everyone happy now nah, people are pretty happy already Ah, whatever, they were kind enough to come join me. What a stunning act of generosity. The Lord held a feast for common people. 
Delicacies to everyone. My lord, this will certainly lift your people's spirit. Now I never have to be kind to them again. That should sail me right through. Now it is time for a good night's sleep, my lord. Sleep well. You have worked hard for the benefit of the kingdom today. Just, uh, the sun is shining, my lord. Time to wake up. I have some good news. The mine you ordered to build has borne fruit. Wow, oh, you told me we were going to be mining stones and metals. What are you doing mining fruits? We can use the metal extracted to forge armor. It's just made entirely out of stitched together banana peels. For the knights or tools for the farmers. What shall we do? Uh, I should probably... Food's doing a bit better. I'll go armor. Excellent! Armor will make our army stronger and will minimize casualties during the battle. But for some reason it made them slightly sicker. <laughs> oh, so sorry, sire. I was thinking of a funny joke when about when everyone died in the last battle without armor. Now our scout has come back. The horde of foreign savages is very close. I hope the ball was worth it, my lord, for we may die soon. <sighs> I know it's not a good time, my lord. Oh, really? You're going to tell me that we're about to die and now whatever this is? Yeah, bad time. It's a bad time, counselor. You didn't counsel very well. I expect you to be a little bit more adamant in the future when I'm making a bad decision. The children start disappearing from the town. It looks like a monster is foraging in the woods. If we don't take care of the problem now, we may have some big problems in the future. We can call the Witcher or send our soldiers there. I think we need to keep ourselves defended. And also, if I would have known there was monsters, I would have tried to recruit them. I want to use the monsters to try and defend us from invasion. I should play around with different lighting. Maybe that's a bit better? It's like the colors of the screen are making my face look very blue. Much more so than usual. I naturally have a very blue hue, I guess. Send the Witcher. Good afternoon, Lord. I am Therald. It's it's said Gerald. It's funny, but it still might be plagiarism or copyright issues. I'm not sure. Not plagiarism. I hunt monsters. On my way to your castle, I saw a werewolf's traces along the road. Is that why you called me? In order to hunt down the beast? Execute him? No, no. I definitely, definitely want your help. Well, Lord, based on the werewolf's traces, it's huge. Witchers don't work for free. It will cost you a fortune. I will... I don't have that much money, actually. Probably shouldn't have held that ball so recently. I'll pay him anyways. My lord, the witcher went to kill the werewolf as soon as he got the money from the treasury. And I think there's one less problem to worry about. My king, Kalahar's horde. It'll be here any time soon. What shall we do? What shall we do? Put panic. Where's the panic button? I want that back. We need to pull ourselves together, my lord. We still have some time before the invasion. My lord. There is a new village between Kalahar's Ards and our armies. It will be totally vulnerable before the attacks. We can give the villagers shelter in our castle, but it will take some time. Hmm. But also, it might cost money. But then we could save them, and then maybe they would bolster our defenses a little bit. Defend the village. We send our troops to protect the settlement. I bet you he's just going to go around the settlement and up back and right up our butts. But I'm not sure we will manage to defend, to defend our castle afterwards. It's a hard decision to make. I wouldn't like to be in your position, my lord. Shall we send troops to protect the village? Until until they retreat. I thought they were going to join my campaign or whatever. I'll do it anyways. My word is my bond, even if it gets everyone killed. As you wish, my lord. The troops will protect the villagers at the cost of their own lives. As it should be. I can see Kalahar and, and his horde, that's not part of his name, <laughs> at the horizon, my lord. It looks like they're going to storm the village. All we can do is wait and wait and continue to... Waiting's boring. Maybe we just go charge him after all. That seems like potentially viable. Oh, I didn't even realize they were running up at me like that. My lord, our armies tried to defend the village as long as it could, but Kalahar Ard's horde did some shit. We're fucking dead. Most peasants managed to escape from the burning village, but now all that's left of their buildings is embers. Nevertheless, many people have lost their homes. Some of them lost their loved ones, too. And then? Well, well, well. Greetings to the lord of these lands. I mean, there's not a lot to be a lord of anymore at this point. I kind of botched it. It was quite hard to reach you. Many fine warriors were killed. Your fighters earned their respect in battle. They died with dignity. The spirits of the Shadowlands are pleased. 
From now on, Galahar will be the only one who decides the world's fates. Will you end your life with dignity like the fighters did, Lord of the Land? Oh no, offer a deal. No dignity for me. I'm going to be a big baby about this. Wait, wait, I don't want to die. Kill everyone but me. You can't negotiate with them, just like you can't ask spirits for wealth or beautiful maidens. Something, something, you're dead. <laughs> it cut me off there before I could read it. Based on this imagery I'm seeing, though, it seems like maybe things went quite well for me. After being offered a deal, Galahar Odd had a good, wealthy, hearty laugh for a moment. It even seemed that he would let the king go. But that was but a quick illusion. Master of illusion. The king was beaten to death by sharp stones, and his death was followed by a glorious, huge orgy. Was it necessary for the stones to be sharp? If they're already stones, they're already pretty deadly. Did you really need to add injury to injury? <laughs> in, that, in that sense. And I didn't even get to be a part of the orgy. What a shame. A new kingdom, then. A n we'll, tr we'll, we'll surely succeed this time. Only if you counsel properly for a change. That one dude died and so on and so forth. Good news. My lord will soon become the king. The bad news is the other guy is dead. The country is in chaos. Awful. Simply awful. You needn't worry. I'm here to help you, my lord. We will be prepared for the enemy's invasion, or so I think. Options? My duty is to tell you how to rule successfully. Would you like to learn how to play? No, I have it all figured out. Well, given you are well informed, let's get down to business. And here is the first issue on the agenda. The citizens of the nearby towns have arrived at our castle's gates. They want to found a village close to us. I will not allow it because I... Hmm, uh, do you know what? Yeah, they can act as a buffer before that horde gets to me. The new citizens have found a village. Uh, the people are grateful. It sounds dope. Food supplies had to be given. Extra labor now. I will use it to build a sawmill, I guess. Mm, the mine was pretty useful for like outfitting my, my like, uh, our my army and things. I'm just looking around here. There's like actually things going on. Oh, you have three workbenches which need to be moved between rows to process wood by cutting off branches, slicing logs, and constructing furniture. Move the workbenches to correctly process the wood. Using the wrong workbench will destroy the object. You can work at the sawmill once a day. Huh. So I, I want to cut big old trees, saw the, the logs, and use this thingy to make planks. I, I'll give, I'll give it a, a try, actually. This is kind of fun that there's like little mini games here to mess around with. Proper tree. Presumably it turns into the next stage as soon as you do that. Yeah, 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 that's totally a thing. So now I can create some full-on furniture. I don't I don't want to chop up the furniture I just built. Nope, I did it anyways. Managed to chop up a little bit of it at least. Tis fine. Uh, one, simply one lost chair shouldn't ruin the entire village. One would, one would hope. I'm not much of a carpenter myself, as you can see. It's a very peculiar job to give to a king. It's definitely not something I was prepared for in, in any stage of my life. But hey, I like to be a very hands-on ruler. I like to make sure that things are, are coming together just as was planned. I'm actually doing like super well at this now, now that I get the gist of it. The the first attempt was rather panicky. But now I'm now I'm crushing it. The amount of chairs these guys are, are getting is wonderful. They're gonna have just the comfiest things to sit on all day every day and they'll know that that comes directly courtesy of of their king everyone likes gifts better oh i i missed that one Oop, i almost missed that too but when you you know when a gift you know where it came from you know it was handmade with the love and attention then it just means all the more Hey, you finished managing the sawmill today. You can try again tomorrow. Your effectiveness out of 100, 90%, and I earned 5 gold. Wow, that took like a while and was quite challenging, and the gift was not huge. Oh, and I kind of thought that I would 
Well, maybe the day was ending no matter what anyways, actually. I kind of didn't know for sure whether or not... I, I don't know if there... I, I don't think that used up time in the day. I'm not 100% certain about that, but it might have. It might have used up a stretch of time I had. Good morning, some citizens would like to come into your throne room. They have things they want to talk about. Court of Law! Thomas! Oh, my great lord, my name is Thomas. My wife has taken my money, my children, and my mansion. I don't think you needed all of that. You could have settled for, like, one or two out of the three. Now she lives with Bruno, the minstrel. I want justice. Equal! The almighty lord rules that the money, the mansion, and the children must be equally divided between the two spouses. Minstrel Bruno must pay the taxes or leave the castle, and you, Thomas, will pay the fee for the fair trial with some of your money. Uh, next? Crush that one. I barely even know what I did. I just said some words and things happened and it seemed to work out. Here's the next issue on the agenda, my lord. Countess DeLover and Count Saprostrin are here for a fair trial. They're asking you to hear them out and to arbitrate their dispute. Good afternoon, my lord. I'm Countess DeLover. Here is the reason why I came here. Since the very foundation of my house, goats had always been our family's coat of arms. And Gerald had always been our main goat and the heart of our cattle. As far as I can remember, ever since I was a little girl. Too many details. Get on with it. But when I ran out of money, we had to sell the goat. Count Sapristrin bought it and now he refuses to give it back to us no matter how much money we offer. Your Highness, may I? I love this coat and plan to marry it. How can you ask me to give up my wife? It was a fair bargain. Goat Gerald is a great goat. So now the goat is mine by law and all and in all consciousness. Consciousness. I'm asking you to hold that the goat is mine. I will generously support the crown if you make the right choice. So who is the owner? Me! Give me the king. If it's such a great... Give, give the king the goat. If it's such a great goat. If it's a goat goat, then I want it. The king rules that it is mine. Since Gerald is too good to belong to either of you, the decision is final. I'm crushing it up here. The sun is shining, my lord. Time to get up. I have some good news for you. The sawmill that you ordered to build has borne fruit. We can build a fence around the village to protect it. We can also sell the lumber in order to boost the treasury. Oh, get that fence up there. Or oh, a catapult. We can do something to try and protect the fence. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Now it will be quite difficult to attack the village. The people will have a chance to survive. Our scout has come back. The horde of savages is very close. May the one God bless us. I know it's not a good time, but children start disappearing from town. There's a monster and some shit going on, you know? Have you heard? Get the get the Witcher involved again. 15 bucks was pretty good for that to just seemingly entirely take care of itself. Pay the man. The Witcher went and killed the shit out of the wolf the way he always does. Very reliable in that regard. The Horde is about to be here. There's this dude. Oh, that was the Witcher. He just ran off to go deal with that. I got like a little deer popping around in those woods up there. Was a werewolf running around in here and I just totally missed it? That's all. I wish I saw that, actually. <laughs> what shall we do? We need to put ourselves together and there's an invasion and things. The village is protected and people have some time to escape and find shelter inside the castle. I don't think we need to worry about them. The army's waiting for your orders. Defend the castle. I think you made the right choice, my lord. It makes no sense to put something in danger when we know there's enough room for everyone in the castle. Shall we order to fully defend the castle? Evacuate the citizens. Send the archers to the walls. We're ready to... We're ready. <laughs> I had nothing else to add. We're ready. Maybe if you keep telling it to yourself, then we can all believe it. I see his horde is on the horizon, my lord. They're just camping out. Looks like they're gonna storm the village. All we can do is wait. Well, get a move on with it then, horde. You lazy horde. Taking forever to get your raiding done. Most peasants managed to escape from the burning village. Now that's all left to do. The uh, buildings and embers. Nevertheless, many people have lost their homes. Some of them lost their loved ones too. Well, no need to guilt me, man. Well, 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 greetings, lord. Uh, I lost all my army again? Your fighters earned their respect. They died with dignity. The spirits... What? I... I can't believe I am getting just hosed again here. I'll stay silent. I'll die... Dignifiedly this time. Damn it. I botched that. <laughs> Farewell, lord of the land. Wow. Very difficult to stay alive.
Really thought I was making the right choices that time around. Not a word was uttered by the king right up to the moment when the great Kalahar pierced his head through with a huge stake. Just, even with the stake in his head, he just stayed with the same silent, stony-eyed glare. The inhabitants of the Shadowlands consider this the most honorable and humane way to die. Ah, they showed me a bit of respect. Didn't chuck pointy stones at me this time. Well, hopefully they taxiderm me, me and do something, do something respectful with my head. I can, uh, I can at least hope for that, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if this game is actually randomly generated. Like the way Reigns or whatever, other Kingdom Sims, it's like you get random proposals of options that played out very similarly both times. So I don't really know. I mean, if it's not a solo dev, it's very near being a solo dev. Random starting resources, you can play around with things for sure. And then like, there's a lot of opportunity for things to branch. So I assume there's a small level a randomization, but potentially the the demo has like one particular story arc. I'm not not entirely positive about that, but yeah, free thing. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. I'll have a link down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.